everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Thank you so much for coming by today. I have a wonderful combined haul to share with you and this stuff has just been piling up because we had a vacation and we just got back and I couldn't wait to just jump in and share all of this with you guys. So let's dive in. First off, I recently found out that the Goodwill that I love to shop at here has a 50% off coupon that occasionally pops up if you follow them on social media. I did still find some good things, one of them being this adorable little throw pillow. It's a really pretty cream and green stripe. It's very, very classic, very clean, though I will wash it. And it's Laura Ashley. And I love Laura Ashley stuff, but I just feel like I could put this anywhere in my house and it would work. But if it doesn't, I'll put it up on my Poshmark, which is up and running again. Some of you asked me why it wasn't. It's because I was on vacation. So it switches it to not for sale while you're gone it's back. So don't worry about that. This was only $1.99. So with the 50% off coupon, I got it for just a dollar. And I think it's really cute. And it's Laura Ashley. She's such a great designer. So that was a good deal. So also on 50% off day, I got these at Goodwill. They are the little Courier and Ive salt and pepper shaker. They have been repaired at some point, but that's okay. These are going to be for display for me in my little kitchen cabinets. They were $1.99, so again, I only paid a dollar, and I thought these were just too precious. I love blue and white, and you'll never guess what else was with them. The plates. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's um, two sets of four that were kind of wrapped like this. It's Courier Knives, the Old Grist Mill by Royal, made in the USA. And this is such a classic print. And I've been looking for these forever. Hillary from Old World Home has a set and I've always, always admired hers. They were $7.99 for a set of four, but I got them 50% off. So it made it a dollar a plate, which is even cheaper than the Dollar Tree now. Like I can't even believe that because I bought plates of the Dollar Tree for $1.25 a piece. These were a dollar a piece love them. I'm so excited. So I'm thinking these will go in my cupboard for fall. It's just fun to have that seasonal switch up for me. It's just a delight. So I was excited to find these, especially on 50% off day. Another exciting find for me was I found one of my daughter's required reading books for next year in the kids section and they only charge 99 cents for kids books. And since it was 50% off, it was 50 cents for one of the books she needs for school next year. So that was really exciting. I checked something off that we really needed. So one of the main reasons why I was going to Goodwill was to find some more professional clothes for myself to really round out that professional wardrobe. And I found some fun pieces. I got this blue sweater. It's got like a design that goes this way at the top and those kind of like angled sleeves. I find those to be pretty flattering on me. But this blue, I just thought was so pretty pair that with a nice pair of slacks and maybe a necklace. That'll be really pretty. This one is uh, Vera Wang and it's a longer sleeved blouse. It has the ruche sleeve, a little tie neck, but purples tend to be flattering with my skin tone. So I thought I could wear that again with slacks or a skirt. Um, maybe even for a date night with some jeans, that will be cute. I believe I paid two or three dollars each because of the 50% off. I was really excited about this Talbot skirt. I've been looking for one like this that has that kind of classic tweed-like plaid. So this with a sweater and my riding boots I think will be really cute for the fall and winter. I got one more thing at the Goodwill 50% off day. And that's this huge bag of crafty bits, which I will open and share with you later in the video. But it was $2.99 for this whole bag, and so I paid $1.50, which is an awesome deal. Part of our vacation was visiting my sisters, and my sister had a huge like home decor swap with a lot of her friends, and she let me peruse the leftovers when I was there. So this is a mirror. It's going to be tricky to show you because you can kind of see. It's definitely tripping me up. <laughs> But it's got a beautiful frame. It's a square shape and I have a couple ideas of where I want to put this. I'm going to play around with it uh, but 
This was the piece that I picked up from my sister's decor swap leftover pile. <laughs> a friend of mine heard that I was looking for Harvard, a Harvard classic set for my husband and gifted me their set. And I actually have that packed away in a box because I don't have room for it on my bookshelves right now. I'm on the hunt for more bookshelves. <laughs> For that room back there and if you hear in the background sounds my little boys have their army guys set up in the hallway so you might hear them it's summer so they're home but anyway I got uh, a pile of books also with that Harvard set and it was so sweet of this person this friend of mine to give these to me because she knows I love them and they're so beautiful so this one is proverbial philosophy and I will make sure to get some close-ups for you guys of the dates and some of the inside papers, which are just so pretty. And the blue on this cover is so striking to me. It's just so beautiful. Is this one called Millbank? The author is Mary J. Holmes. I love the beautiful Victorian woman on the front of this one. This one is On Plymouth Rock, Samuel Adams Drake. Look at the spine on this one with the little flower. Isn't that pretty? So I'll show you the date on this one. And there's an inside picture, the Doton House. This one is Miscellaneous Essays and Poems, Volume 2. And you can see, I hope, the little inlet there. The circle, the oval so pretty and some more dates for you there this is elements of rhetoric and while this one isn't as beautiful the topic is super meaningful to our family it's one of the things my husband loves to teach is rhetoric composition and rhetoric I did make room for these this little set and have them comfortably situated in our library. All right, so those are the freebies, and now I'll share with you some of my yard sale goodies. I found a pile of embroidery hoops, and I think I spent 50 cents on these, and of course these cost a lot more. I am really trying to get better at embroidery. I'm really not that talented. I know many of you have asked me to show. I'm really learning myself, but it's nice to have this many hoops. I can now do some more practicing and working on different kinds of stitches and that's the kind of thing I do in the evening. I'm excited about that especially 50 cents that makes it really doable to continue in this hobby. I also grabbed this bag and it was full of little chalkboard tags. Let me pull one out like this. It's a little chalkboard tag sort of like an ornament and they're heart shaped. So I have a few different ideas in mind for these. I think they would make really cute gift tags. If we host Thanksgiving again, I would maybe make a thankful tree where people could write what they're thankful for on here and hang it up. So lots of possibilities for 50 cents. I thought that was a good deal. Um, opportunity to be creative and have fun during the holidays. I also grabbed um, some notebooks. One I already gave away as a gift. This one is Christmas themed. And then this one is like um, pressed flowers on that journal. I love having things like this on hand for gifts, stocking stuffers, things like that. And I found one little package of bias tape. I loved this sort of corally, salmon-y color. Um, kind of similar to what I'm wearing, actually. <laughs> I love using stuff like this to wrap gifts with. So that's what I will use this for and I think I spent 25 cents on it. I found this and I know this might seem a little off as far as like decade because it has a very like 70s, 60s, 70s vibe, but I kind of liked it. I like that it has the little acorns and the leaves and it says, and all the way, all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And that's Proverbs 3, 6, which is a great verse that I love. Little paint projects that you can get, like the little plaques at the Dollar Tree or Dollar 25. And this was just a dollar. So I thought, hey, this might be a fun like set and paint project. So this one lady had a box full of postcards and I found a few from Idaho. And since we moved to Idaho last year, I've been kind of a nerd about it. So... I found this one of the state capitol in Boise, and I'm not sure how old these are. There's no date, but they're definitely discolored, like maybe from the 80s. 
kind of yellow down the back. But this one just cracked me up. It says, we grow them big in Idaho. <laughs> it's a potato. Potatoes are kind of a thing here. I picked that up. She gave those to me for free. So these next things I have to show you is going to further expose to you guys how much of a nerd that I am. <laughs> but many of you will think this is pretty cool. I thought it was anyway. I love Murder, She Wrote. It's just a strange love that I have. Um, I find it strangely comforting, even though it's a murder show. I love like looking at the backgrounds and the outfits and stuff like that from the 80s and early 90s. I mean, that was my childhood. So some of you had told me that there are Murder, She Wrote books. And I was so excited to hear that because I love mysteries. And I found three. I found one hardback and two paperbacks. The paperbacks were a quarter and the hardback was 50 cents. Again, I don't have room on my shelf. I don't know where these are going to go right now, but I've already read. I'm on chapter four of this one and I like it so far. Oh, I forgot to share this other freebie. <laughs> my sister, bless her heart, found this at a thrift store. She's like, it's more than I pay at thrift store normally, but it was $10. It is the Tolkien Illustrated Encyclopedia. And this is incredible. She said she saw this and knew that it had to come home with us. On that yard sale trip with my sisters, I also grabbed some clothes for my boys, which have already kind of made it back to their rooms. And I found one thing for myself, which was this sweater. It's H&M, but it's a classic turtleneck and I washed it and it's still drying. It's still a little damp because I have to lay it flat to dry but it's just that classic chunky turtleneck in a beautiful deep green and it was only a dollar and it fits really well last but not least I found some beautiful inspiring things of course it's books but look it's Christmas with Victoria and this one is 2001 and I also picked up 1999 and my mom got Victoria magazine when I was young. And I feel like that whole spirit of Victoria, that magazine and everything is just really seeing a return in popularity. And I'm so happy because I've always loved it. I poured over these after we got home from yard selling and I found so many recipes, so much inspiration in here that I want to take with me into the next holiday season. I hope you enjoy kind of looking at some of the images of these as well. So these plus the ideals books that I found uh, a few weeks back, I am set for Christmas inspiration. I'm so excited. I know it's July, but I'm I'm really looking forward to getting to apply some of these new recipes and ideas. Let's dive into that bag of crafty bits and I'll show you all the things that I got. Okay, I opened that bag from Goodwill. Again, it was $2.99, 50% off, so I think I spent $1.50 on all of these beads. So there's this very sweet pastel bag with some bigger kind of iridescent beads in there as well. There's this bag that has this really pretty sage and gold and a cobalt blue and a deeper navy blue. There's wooden beads here as well as in this little container. I kind of like these ones with the design on them. Those are cool. And then there was this container that looks like it has some clasps and just a bunch of random bits in there. This is pearl. And it looks like there's three strands left of that pearl. And there was this sort of teal iridescent seed bead. And then a similar shade, more aqua. I like that. I like that a lot. There was this sort of pretty pastel-y, pinky uh, seed bead and pearl bag. I will probably use this for making Christmas ornaments. This has a lot of green and again little bits of random in there. Again might be really helpful with making Christmas things. Okay everyone that is my huge haul for the day. I know there's so many things and I feel like I'm probably forgetting some things because it's been a while since I've sat down in front of the camera but I hope you all are doing well and having a great summer enjoying some sunshine and some fun out with friends and family. I'm so glad that you're taking time out of your busy summer to sit with me and enjoy 
uh, my content. It really does mean the world to me, especially that you stay to the end. It makes such a difference. Every comment, every thumbs up, every share, every time someone subscribes, it makes a difference for me. So I thank you so much for that. You guys take care and I will be back with more soon. Bye. Thank you.